I'm getting ready to go on a trip with my wife in the next few days and I gotta get my fragrances ready so I figured it's a perfect time to show you guys what I do to make it easy to travel with my fragrances. If you're interested in that, stick around. Fellas, welcome back. It's Robert, your everyday gentleman. And like I said, today I'm gonna show you guys what I do when I travel with my fragrances. Really, it's not just a travel, it's whenever I just wanna do a decant, decanting, which is something that I do and I've talked to you guys about in other videos. Just makes it easy when you either wanna travel with a number of fragrances, or if you just wanna make it easy to reapply the spray. If you have a cologne or a fragrance that doesn't have a lot of longevity and you wanna reapply it at some point and you don't wanna travel with the full bottle, decanting makes it easy for you to do that. And on the traveling side, like for me, I'm going away for a week and I like to take a number of different fragrances with me. Decants make it easy for you to take a number of those fragrances without having to take up a lot of space in your luggage. Now, if you're new to my channel, I wanna welcome you. Here I talk about everything to do with men's lifestyle, whether it's fragrances, fashion, grooming, cigars, whiskey, really anything that has to do with being a man in today's age. I invite you to subscribe and engage in the comments down below. And to my returning subscribers, I wanna thank you for your continued support. And now, let's jump into the tutorial. Now there's a few different ways that you can go about getting this juice into this decant here. And when I'm talking about the decant, I'm talking about this here. You can see I already put a little bit in here. I need to get this refilled, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Now, when I buy these decants, um, they come with a few different options of how to refill it. Uh, you get this little funnel, and you get this little, uh, almost like a pump, like a siphon to siphon the uh, juice out of this. And then this is the way I prefer, which is with the syringe. So I'm gonna talk about these three different ways and show you why I prefer this one here. Now there's a number of different decants that you can go with. This decant here is an eight mil decant. I mean, it's, this is actually very similar to some of the ones that you see advertised, I think with like Scentbird or different things. What I like about this is just, it's a really cool decant. I've shown you guys this before in other videos. It's a little twist up one. It's easy to pull out the, uh, the bottle. Uh, it's a twist off. If you want to refill it, you just twist off the atomizer and then you have access to the jar. It's glass, so you know, it's a, it's a little more durable. It's a little more, uh, it takes care of your fragrance a lot better. I'll link some of these in uh, Amazon. If you're interested in purchasing some, I'll put some in the, in the description. There's a number of different colors. I like to get different ones just to help differentiate. Uh, but there's a number of different ways you can go if you want to decant, but this is the way I prefer. Now, like I said, these decants come with these little funnels. Now what these are for is you take out the, uh, the jar, the decant that's in here, you take off the, uh, the atomizer, you would put this funnel at the top of the jar, just like that. And then what you're gonna do is take your juice. By the way, this is uh, Prada Lunarosa Carbon. It's a very, very nice fragrance. If you haven't seen it, uh, if you haven't gotten your nose on it, I really suggest you do. Um, it's kind of, it's, uh, some people are calling it the Sauvage Killer. I like Sauvage, Sauvage is a good scent but I prefer, this is very similar to that, except that to me, this is a lot fresher. Um, definitely check this out, you won't be disappointed. Now, with the funnel, what you're gonna do is basically spray, and I'm not gonna do it just so it doesn't make a mess, but uh, you spray it into that funnel, and the funnel is supposed to funnel it down into the jar. But, because you're spraying, anytime you spray, obviously some of it's gonna start just evaporating once it gets to the atmosphere, so for me, it's effective, it'll work, it'll fill it up, but you're gonna waste a lot of juice in the process. So these come with it. I don't really recommend it, but if you're in a pinch, uh, you can go with it. The other way you can do it is with this siphon. This siphon, like I said, works by taking the juice out of the, out of the bottle, but um, what you wanna do is take off the sprayer, the spray cap, and then you have the little stick here that, that it attaches to. You're gonna put this here and then basically siphon the juice out and then put it into the jar. And that's how it works, but these aren't very good. The siphoning method to me is a pretty good method. It's a method I prefer to do, but there's a better way to do it. Now, 
what I do is I get these syringes here. These syringes are also available on, uh, on Amazon. You can get a number of them for, uh, for very, very cheap. Uh, again, I'll link that down in the description below if you're interested. But with these, you just, you're gonna suck that juice out and then you're gonna transfer it into the jar. So when you get these, depending on the, the actual uh, syringe that you get, the opening here that the needle typically goes onto isn't always big enough to fit onto the tube for the sprayer. So what I do is I'll get a nail or some kind of metal object and you can warm this up if you want to. Um, I don't really think it's necessary, but you just kind of work the nail head into the hole and just kind of just start expanding it enough so that you can start putting that into the tube. But it doesn't need to go all the way. It just needs to go enough so that it creates a bit of a seal as you do it. And then all you're really gonna do is press down. And as you're pressing down, you're gonna start pulling the syringe up. And it's gonna start bringing that juice into the syringe. You start pumping. Different bottles will work different ways. Sometimes you can just hold this down and start pulling that juice out. It just really depends on the bottle and the sprayer. But you can see how it's filling up. None of that juice is getting lost. You pull this off, you have all the juice right there in the syringe. And you're just gonna take this, transfer it over to your decant, fill it up. And you're just gonna do that as many times as you need for however much juice you wanna take with you. I'm going away for a week, so I don't need that much. I think that should do it. That's a number of sprays. And then you're gonna take this Teflon tape. Okay, take a bit of this. The purpose of this is to seal the cap so that you don't get any leaks. You don't get any air. You don't get any evaporation. You don't really waste any of it. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is go with the screw thread. You don't wanna to put too much of this because then it's gonna be difficult to tighten, but you wanna go with the thread, with the thread on the jar so that when it screws on, it's not, the cap isn't pulling the, uh, the tape off. But once you're done with that, you go with the thread here around, you're gonna put the cap on, screw that down, Make sure it's nice and tight. You don't need to tighten it too much. That Teflon tape is pretty good at keeping it tight. And now you have your decant. Now the other thing you can do, which I don't have with me right here, but um, I'll also put a label on here so that I know which, uh, which fragrance it is. I mean, I can tell pretty much by the, by the scent which fragrance it is, but you can do that as well if you like. Now, one thing you need to remember is you don't want to use the same syringe for different fragrances because the fragrance that obviously I put into this one this this is now going to smell like the Lunarosa carbon and if you use another fragrance well, then you're going to start getting those mixes of scents and you know you don't want to do that so um, I bought a big pack uh, that's the advantage of getting it I think I got like a hundred for uh, for very very cheap so you know these are pretty disposable uh, single use um, things you can save it if you want to and label it if you want to uh, but I pretty much dump these after I'm done with them. And uh, that's pretty much it. So like I said, decanting is a way that makes it just really easy for you to travel with your fragrances. I hope you found this video informative and I hope it's something that helps you when you're on your travels. If you did find this video informative, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure you catch all future videos from this channel. And remember, being a gentleman is an everyday thing. Till the next time, fellas.